everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i will be talking about misconceptions about turkey when i moved from the netherlands to turkey five years ago i got a lot of questions or like people saying weird things about turkey that are like incorrect and still there are so many misconceptions about turkey so i thought in this video i will address them and tell you guys a little bit more about turkey like i said i'm from the netherlands and i grew up there and about five years ago i moved to turkey and if you're new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe and um, i make a lot of beauty related videos videos about turkey and also vlogs and as you can hear the mosque is going in the background so that means i'm in turkey right now but yes if you're excited please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and um yeah let's get started okay so the first misconception about turkey is that it's always hot and i can tell you that's not the case um turkey is a very big country and a lot of dutch people uh they go on holiday in turkey to the southwest so um where i live as well and yes in the southwest of turkey for example Marmaris, Bodrum, Fethiye, Antalya, Alanya they're very popular locations um, I would say the summers are very hot indeed uh, for a few months it's about 35 to 40 degrees which is really hot but we definitely have all seasons in the winter it can storm like crazy it can be also very cold um, and like I said, Turkey is a very big country and my husband, he was in the army and he was in Erzurum, which is near Georgia, which is very um, north east yes northeast of turkey and it can be there minus 30 degrees and it's snowing like crazy always so it's definitely not true that it's always hot here in turkey then something that i heard a lot um in the netherlands is people questioning uh, if i have to wear a scarf or become a muslim when moving to turkey and as you can hear by the mosque um most of turkey is muslim but it's not a islamic state so you have the freedom to believe what you want and you also have the freedom to dress however you want i haven't met a lot of christians here in turkey but i know there are because there are some uh, catholic uh, churches and also some orthodox i believe and about the headscarf um you don't have to wear one uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe when Turkey was like the Ottoman uh, Empire um, I guess you had to wear a scarf But when Ataturk started the Republic of Turkey um, You had the freedom to choose whatever you want And to be honest, I see everything here in Turkey People wearing like short skirts um, But also definitely hijabs uh, for sure but I would say in Marmaris it's a little bit more modern, people dress however they want But um, in the villages or if you go more to the east of Turkey, people wear scarves uh, more often I guess I don't see a niqab that often, a niqab is when also the face is covered um, I don't see that a lot, but I do see a lot of women who dress like modest with like a headscarf or like a hijab um, But also a lot of girls who wear like modern clothes So skirts, short dresses, shorts, um, yeah, whatever So it's definitely a mix So it's definitely not true that you have to be Muslim to live here or that you have to wear a headscarf um, that's definitely not true also a big misconception about Turkey is that Istanbul is the capital of uh, Turkey and actually Ankara is the uh, capital and I know Istanbul is more famous I guess than Ankara um, a lot of tourists always go to Istanbul instead of Ankara and I can see why because Istanbul is I think a little bit more beautiful like a more beautiful city you have of course like the blue mosque there you have the beautiful Bosporus um, you have like the bridge you have yeah you have so many like touristic places there and in Ankara also you have like the grave of Atatürk in Ankara I believe 
but I don't know, I don't hear a lot of people going to Ankara on a holiday to be really honest with you uh, Istanbul is definitely more popular I only saw the um, airport of Istanbul I've never been actually to the city but it's definitely on my list I would love to visit Istanbul one day but yes that's another misconception Istanbul is not the capital of Turkey then what I also heard a lot is that Turkey is not safe to visit which is definitely not the case a lot of people think that there is war in Turkey and um, I would say maybe near the east of Turkey near Syria it's not really safe to visit there I believe if you go also on the like the Dutch government website and you look to the Turkish map I believe they don't recommend going to that area near Syria but the rest of Turkey is very safe to visit there are always a lot of tourists here in Turkey and yeah it's very safe I guess also Istanbul you can uh, compare like with Paris, Barcelona um, of course you always have like thieves or you have to be careful you know on the streets um, like any other city it's definitely not more dangerous than other uh, bigger cities and also here in the south of Turkey it's you you can definitely compare it with like Spain and Greece it's like yeah it's the same it's definitely not more dangerous so that's another misconception and then the last misconception is that there is a desert here in Turkey and actually there's no desert a lot of people think that Turkey is a Arabic country but it is not Turkey is I believe half Europe and half Asian it's not a Arabic country and there's no desert here but in Turkey you can find definitely beautiful places you have waterfalls you have like Cappadocia which is so beautiful it's definitely on my wish list you have beautiful beaches the sea you have such beautiful nature here but yeah there's no desert here in Turkey which a lot of people think but no there's not so these are some misconceptions about Turkey and if you would like to see another video about this topic let me know in the comments down below or if you have any other requests um, yeah let me know and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give the huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe I upload twice week every Wednesday and Saturday and of course you can also follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye